Zimbabwe's dollar was reintroduced in 2019 but now trades at more than 2,000 to the US dollar on the black market. The government hopes the release of a gold-backed digital currency will reduce the Zimbabwe dollar's rapid devaluation. It's a very positive thing as, as these digital coins, of course, are backed by physical gold in, the, in, the, in our vaults. So it's a very solid uh, instrument. And uh, so anyone buying it should feel comfortable that it's a solid instrument that will preserve value. Companies buying the new digital currency hope it can protect their local currency investments. We do have quite a sizable amount of local currency uh, investments, uh, especially as, as, you know, money market and the like. And we, upon analyzing the proposal from the Reserve Bank, we quickly realized that it's a very useful hedging instrument because it's linked to a hard asset, which is gold. It will protect you in terms of uh, any currency, potential currency devaluation. But in written comments to VOA, the International Monetary Fund's office in Zimbabwe expressed concern about the digital currency and market controls. It said a careful assessment was needed to ensure the benefits of the new currency outweigh the costs and the potential risks. Economists say having enough gold to back the tokens is a concern. Oh, oh, on paper, I'm saying that uh, a digital gold currency is actually a sound idea uh, economically, but I think there is need for greater transparency in terms of issues like the reserves, uh, how, much, how, how much reserves we actually have as a country uh, to be able to successfully back and defend uh, these uh, digital gold coins. Zimbabwe State Media in April reported the government had about $23 million in gold and planned to build its reserves to $100 million. Last year, Zimbabwe introduced a physical gold coin to try to stabilize its dollar, but the currency has since dropped to less than a third its value. Analysts say a big problem is Zimbabwe's controls on the currency market, which values the local dollar at more than six times the rate it trades for on the black market. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News, Harare, Zimbabwe.